Yeah, look, it's been an exciting uh, off-season for us. Um, being able to put some um, key personnel um, back into the roster. Uh, we had a really good opportunity to retain some of the guys from last year, which will keep a bit of continuity for the fans, but also for our program. So, I mean, Mason Peeling was pretty important to us. We, we followed him all the way through to add a bit of size and toughness to the group. Um, and then also trying to continue to get the youth into the program with, uh, with Lachlan Albrecht. Um, you know, Lockie's someone that we followed um, from last year when he played for UC Riverside um, and all the way, uh, his junior progression has been quite um, outstanding. So yeah, the, the roster itself shaping up um, pretty good and uh, we've got a few more pieces to finish off an exciting off season. Three roster spots still available as it stands. Uh, one import spot and uh, two Australian or local players. Um, close to finalising one of the local players, um, so which will leave us one import, one local uh, player. So uh, with the import, putting a really wide net with that. Um, we've got an idea about the kind of player that we're looking at right now um, on the back of some of our key signings in the off season. And uh, hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll get a bit of traction in that space. Um, just to give an idea about the exact kind of import player we're looking for to fit the system and fit the personnel we've been able to put together. Yeah, look, the free agency process is a really challenging process. It's not just about stepping, uh, stepping away and looking at the free agent list when that comes out. It's about being on the front foot all the way through the year, um, looking at some of the quality players that play in the NBL and also in the college system um, and who have played in the NBL 1 for the previous year. Um, keep an eye on their progression um, and then sort of make contact with the agents uh, during that year just to keep an eye on what their, think, their thought process about free agency is going to be. Yeah, look, some, some of the guys that we've got retained for, for next year have been playing in the off season, which is, um, you know, keeps them fit, gives them a new opportunity to see uh, different environments um, and ultimately helps us to improve our environment here at the Hawks. But, I mean, the key one for that at the moment is Sam Froling. He's over in Japan, um, which is a great opportunity for him culturally, um, but also for his basketball to go see what the Asian uh, leagues are like, um, get himself a bit of a name so he can continue to do that, play in our league, and then go overseas at the end of the season to experience that different level of, um, of, of games. And look, ultimately for us to be able to recruit and retain players, um, allowing them to go play in the off season is a key from the Hawks point of view and with something we really encourage. The Next Star program is an exciting program. When we looked at his name as an option uh, for a Next Star, um, we, we obviously do it, did our due diligence from there. We, we, we look at character, we look at play, sk playing skill, we, we look at all the little bits and pieces about what it looks like to start with. Um, then we go through the process of the Zoom calls with the, the handler, um, and with AJ himself to, to try and work out whether he's the kind of guy that fits what we try to build and is it going to be a piece that's going to be successful within our program. Like he's pretty exciting, it's um, another era for the, for the Hawks. We obviously had Lamello Ball um, four years ago which was, was outstanding for the club and outstanding for Lamello. Um, since then we have Justinian and Jessup who was a, a drafted and then stashed here in the, in the Hawks. Um, so this is another exciting piece in this program and you know we're pretty excited to see how good AJ is going to be.